Today we're in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania, and we're currently standing inside of the Cambridge. This home is by Infinity Homes, and top to bottom, it is one of the most beautiful homes we have ever toured. As we'll be walking through it today, this home features six bedrooms, six full bathrooms, and all of that sitting inside of a whopping 8,351 square feet. You can already see it behind me. We're standing in the master suite, and it is phenomenal. The front of this home embodies a magical warmth with its soft tones and rustic wood accent. One of the first things that I noticed as I was walking up to the front of the home was the charming covered porch. However, the fairy tale feel of the Cambridge really comes to life as you gaze upon the numerous gables, the beautiful board and batten siding, and the enchanting brickwork. But as everyone knows, no home with this castle type feel would ever be complete without a tower. And this one comes in the form of a beautiful cupola sitting high above a stunning four car garage. Now, as we move around to the back of the home, you won't be able to help but notice all of the ginormous windows that help provide a ton of natural light within the home. Here you'll find two huge outdoor living spaces that have plenty of outdoor entertaining space, as well as two massive fireplaces. But don't worry, we'll get to that in just a little bit. For now, let's head back around to the front of the home and see what all we can find inside. All right. So I am super excited about all of these homes. There's actually six in total. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. That way you don't miss out on any of these because wait until you see this master suite. Whew, it is wild. So there's your front door when you first walk in and then you have this nice flex room or office space just off to the left. It's got these nice big built-ins as well as a nice light fixture. Across the hall from that is your formal dining room. And in here, I think it, it's a really neat space. I love the light fixtures. I like the, the windows that kind of look out onto that gorgeous front porch. That thing is, <laughs> I love that thing so much. Now this does kind of wrap all the way around a giant staircase. So we'll get back to the foyer in just a minute. But first, let's go ahead and get into the pantry. Plenty of space in here. Love the wood shelves. And then right across from that is a fun little wet bar. Got this beautiful copper sink. I like that with the copper fixture. And then inside the cabinets are nice wood shelves. Plenty of space to put the, the booze. And then here, this is one set of stairs. And then of course you have another set of stairs uh, right by the front door that'll take you up to the second floor. And then coming into the great room, beautiful exposed trusses, great big fireplace right here. And they did, they decorated this up for Christmas. So just in time, super excited about that. Got the nice built-ins over here on either side of the fireplace. And then panning back around, you get to the view of the upstairs catwalk and then back into the kitchen. And this kitchen, it is amazing. Massive island in here, love the pendant lights. Plenty of seating. That refrigerator all of these homes have had massive refrigerators uh, unlike anything I've seen and I love the copper sinks that they've been going with uh, at least in this model I think a couple of the other models had it too and then that range hood whoo I'm a sucker for range hoods got a nice little spice rack right here You do have two ovens uh, sitting next to the refrigerator, so that's nice. And then these fun little corner drawers, which I've never seen before. I think these are pretty snazzy. And then plenty of cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling. And then just off of the kitchen is the morning room. Here's a great little spot for informal dinners or 
uh, just sitting around for breakfast and stuff. Got these nice big windows looking out into the backyard. And then coming out onto the upper porch, you do have this big, beautiful fireplace right here with a nice brick surround, which I absolutely love. And then plenty of seating out here. Just like I said, a great outdoor hangout spot. Love the ceilings. I love the wood ceilings whenever they do that. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. And then you do have your built-in grill with a brick backsplash over here. And a nice island. Then sitting in between the kitchen and the pantry area is the mud room. So you got this great big dog wash right here, which is super cool. And then you have all of these cubbies right here, perfect for storage. Come in from the garage, dump all your stuff off. Plenty of cabinets and shelves in here. In here you also find the garage door right there, but they have it closed off due to office space. And then back into the foyer, we'll hit up this side, which like I said, it wraps around all of the staircases. You got a nice coat closet right here. And then next to that, you have the first full bathroom. You got a nice mirror and a single vanity, a toilet, and then this really nice tiled shower. I like the little rock, rock, brick work. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyway, you got two different shower heads in here also. And this fun little bench area. Put some decorations over there. And then next to that, you come into the second office space. This has some nice French doors that open up into it. And this is perfect, especially if you're a couple that both of you work from home. Now you have your own separate office spaces, which is super convenient. We'll go ahead and start working our way up to the second floor, which is where you'll find all of the bedrooms. And I'm telling you, wait until you see this master suite. It is ridiculous. This thing is, it, it's gotta be a whole house in and of itself. But this is the second set of stairs coming down from the wet bar and pantry area. And they kind of meet up here at this great big landing. And then this overlooks the foyer space. Oh, and also, if you guys want any information uh, on this model or you want to check out the floor plan a little bit better, I'll leave the link down in the description. You can also go over to timothyplivingston.com and check it out over there as well, along with all the pictures and stuff that I took uh, while touring. So this is the first of the bedrooms. Great big size. This one sits up towards the front of the house. You got this nice closet. Step in. And then you have the Jack and Jill bathroom. Great big built-in right in the middle of the two sinks, which is really nice. And then this great big shower and tub combo. <laughs> well, one thing that caught me, it's, uh, what does it say? It's, it's always a full moon in here. I thought that was funny. There was another one in another house that I saw that said, uh, Hey, diddle diddle, aim for the middle. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny too. Anyway, this is the second uh, bedroom. About the same size as the first. Again, got a nice closet in here also. And then looking down from the catwalk into the beautiful great room. I always like that look. Like, future home has to have a two story great room. Jen's already tracking. Then you got the second set of stairs going up to the third floor, which you'll see what all is happening up there. Kind of like a movie theater room, which is cool. 
and then into the third bedroom. This one's a good size probably for an older kid because uh, it has its own ensuite, which features a single vanity and another shower and tub combo. And then up here, you also have your laundry room, which is convenient since all the bedrooms are up here. You don't have to worry about dropping it or lugging it all the way down to the basement. But plenty of cabinets in here. Plenty of folding space. And you got some nice built-ins over on that side. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> so there is a set of double doors that opens up into the master suite. And holy goodness, the ceilings in here. I love those exposed beams. You got these built-ins on either side of the fireplace. And yes, like every one of their homes that I've been in has had a fireplace in the master suites. And I just can't get enough of it. And then you have your own little reading library sitting area. And it has that movable step ladder, which is super cool. I wanted to do a Beauty and the Beast sequence, you know, where Beauty like slides across on the ladder, but it doesn't slide that well. So <laughs> anyway, great big spot for a bed. And then You've got a wet bar here in between the ensuite and the closet. Nice little wine refrigerator. Love this backsplash. I think that looks super nice. And then you have your sink. And then into the closet. This thing is massive. It's like when you walk into the, one of those fancy mall stores. And they just got everything like... I don't know, like an Abercrombie or something. But all of the built-ins in here, great big island in the middle, nice full-length mirror. Let me know what you think about this closet though. Too big, just right, not big enough. <laughs> Man. At I'm telling you, this, I, I saw another one earlier today, and I'm gonna keep bouncing back because all of these things have just blown my mind. It had a closet in a closet and a gym in the closet. Oh, and the sconce up here, I didn't even notice that. Uh, I thought that that looked pretty cool too. And then into the ensuite, who that clawfoot tub, great big walk in shower with the tile surround. Got the gigantic rainfall shower head. Nice bench over here in the back. Then you got this claw foot tub. I thought this looked pretty neat. And in this one, the window's high enough, even though, I mean, you're on the second floor anyway, so no curtains needed here. Double vanity, nice accent lights to show off your fancy towels. And then you got some more built-ins. Uh, right next to a linen closet. And then you do have the fanciest toilet I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> And then from there, we will work our way upstairs. And up here, this can be a whole number of things, but right now it is currently set up. It's kind of like a, a theater room. It's got this fun little day bed over here in the corner. Like this is the top of your tower right here. I mean, not, not the actual one that's over the garage, you know what I mean? But it kind of, it looks like it, you know what I mean? 
but plenty of room up here. Just kind of hang out. Got a little kitchenette over in the corner so you can pop your popcorn, pour some drinks, and not have to run down three flights of stairs in order to get to the kitchen. And then you also have another full bathroom with a single vanity, some nice vanity lights, and another shower with a great big bench. And there is another closet. So if you wanted to turn this into like a uh, in-law suite or something, I think there's plenty of room uh, up here. And then through this door right here, this is going into kind of like your mechanical room you got your furnace up here uh, and your electrical outlet. Then all the way down in the basement area, it was set up as their showroom, just to kind of showcase some of the different fixtures and finishes that you could have. But as far as the price for this home, it is ranging between. So just keep in mind that that may or may not be the price that you pay. But if you do want any more information on this model, or Infinity Homes, I'll leave that information for you in the description as well as over at timothyplivingston.com.